Hi guys, now I will discuss another question from Network Theory uh, asked in Gate Electrical 2020. So, very very easy question, it was a numerical answer type I guess. Uh, just asking you to find out what is the VTH, Thevenin's voltage for this entire network. So, what is Thevenin's voltage basically? See, most of you might be knowing, but there may be still students who are preparing for K2021 or maybe students who are not even much conversant or they don't know much about these theorems and all. For them, I am telling you. Thevenin's th voltage is nothing but VOC, open circuit voltage of any circuit. Now if you look at this circuit, there are number of sources and all are there. Here, there are two open, ter open terminals, isn't it? This is an open circuit terminal, isn't it? So what is the voltage over here? Itself is the VTH, open circuit voltage. Now you have to find out what is the VTH. Now if you look at, at this point, now we will consider a node point of view. At this node or at this point, what is the voltage? VTH is the voltage, isn't it? Because this entire bottom is a reference. So automatically this will become a VTH node. Now tell me what is the voltage at this point, at this point, at this point. Here also the voltage will be VTH. How can you say that it is VTH sir? Because there is a resistance in between. Oh, can't there be any voltage drop or something like that? Yes, if there is a resistance, there should be a voltage drop. But having only resistance is not required for a voltage drop. We also have current through the resistance then only voltage drop can be created. But if you look at this circuit here, this branch belongs to the open, isn't it? If you are sending some current from this side or from here, do you think some current will go into this 3 ohm resistor part? No, why? Because if it enters into 3 ohm, where it will go again? It will go nowhere because it is an open path. Suppose you are sending some current, let us say here 5 ohms is there now. This 5 ohms current will go to this node and again it will travel back here only, it will not go. That means this 3 ohms uh, branch does not carry any current, therefore no voltage drop. Whatever voltage here, here is the same voltage, understood? So, if this is the VTH, if this is the VTH, what could be the VTH? VTH is nothing but, I can say, the voltage that is dropping across 2 ohms and uh, like this. The voltage across the 3 ohms. So, what is the voltage across the 3 ohms? Now, you see here, 3 ohms is connected to 4 volt source. So, here what is the voltage here is 4 volts. So, I can say, uh, voltage drop across 3 ohms is the 4 volts is the voltage drop, okay? So, if I can sum up voltage drop across 2 ohms and uh, this 4 volts, that is only going to be your VTH, isn't it? This is the VTH voltage. Because, now just forget about this current source. Now, what is the voltage at this point? At this point, the voltage is what? VTH only, no? At this area, at this region, the voltage is VTH. Now, VTH is nothing but what is the voltage in 2 ohms and voltage across the 3 ohms, that is 4 volts only. The sum is only the VTH. Now the question is about polarities. So what will be the correct polarities? So what we told was good. Okay, what we told is right. Here you are, you are having some voltage drop. Let us say, what will be the voltage drop? As I already told you, because this 5 ohm source current will circulate only towards the 2 ohm resistor. If 5 amperes of current is flowing through 2 ohms, what would be the voltage drop across it? The voltage dropping across it would be uh, a 10 volt, isn't it? 10 volts is the voltage across the resistor and here you are already having 4 volts plus and minus. Now the question is about what is the polarity of 10 volts because I cannot directly tell that 10 volts plus 4 volts will become equal to 14 volts. But what if the polarity is like this minus plus then minus plus plus minus that means series of position then the voltage would have been something like minus 10 plus 4 isn't it? Then it would be minus 6 volts. So the possibility is minus 6 volts or directly 10 plus 4, 14 volts. But when you are going to take the polarity of voltage across any resistor, I always keep on telling students, just observe the direction of current in that resistor. At which terminal the current enters into the resistor, that terminal is a positive. So if you look here, which side the current is entering, here the current is entering. So this is the positive terminal. This is automatically the negative terminal. So positive, negative, negative connected to positive and this is the negative. So this positive itself reflects here as positive. And uh, this end is obviously negative. This is only the negative over here. So directly 10 volts plus 4 volts, VTH is equal to 14 volts. In fact, to do this question, you need not keep your pen on your rough sheet. Understood? Just by looking the question only, you could make it out. Very simple question. And I hope most of you have given right. If you are watching this video or this channel for the first time, 
I request all the students who are watching here, please subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon because very regularly I will be posting a lot of good subjective or informative videos and also solutions like this for gate exam and many PSC exam solutions are also going to come soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.